Uh, ooh, ah, ooh. Hello guys, so another day of my journey and I did it intentionally, I did this intro to hook your attention, you know, I have a yellow and I had a red light, a blue light, which I don't really like the white balance of my camera now. Oh, no, it's better. So, 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 what happened today? Nothing special. I do a lot of work, so I meet a friend from Moldova. And he, you know, like, he just told me, yeah, you were doing, like, videos for smart people. You know, like, the people that has to be smart to watch it. It's uh, some kind of high-level content. And a lot of people do not understand it. And that is a problem. See? And he says, just why, why won't you do like content like. <laughs> a content for a dumb people. Because most people are dumb. Most people, they don't analyze, they don't think about what they see, they don't. You know, like, they only need some kind of yes, and that's it. So, why why is the dumb people are better for a target audience? Because we have more dumb people and also... Mm, guess what? Guess what? It's easy to monetize them, because when... The person is smart, he will be like, oh, why I'm spending, who I'm spending, uh, I know, like, what the time spent, you know, like, you have, uh, he analyze, you have to just convince him, you have to give good, good reason, he compares you with 100 other persons, and with the, when the person is dumb, he is like, ah, TikTok, sweet sweets for five pounds, toilet rolls, oh, Toilet rolls, just order toilet rolls from a TikTok. I yeah, know, like, probably there are some people who are ordering toilet rolls from TikTok. I'm not one of them. Oh, and my, I, I'll add one more. pink light. I need something to put a pink light on. Can I put it here? Pinky, pinky, please don't fall. Wow. Brilliant. Now the light is totally messed up and the shadows looks ugly. Who anyway you're probably doing like what I'm what I'm just talking about. I'm just so random and yeah I am I am I'm so tired I had a lot of things in my mind to tell you but th this video is not reason like to make some kind of valuable content or something I just try to do content every day and try to do my progress and try to improvise and try to come up with some content and also I'm feeling I'm getting better emotional and uh, in acting, I don't know so I can become an actor so uh, I want to go to Moldova to fix this I never been to Moldova, I just read about it and it doesn't look really good to Kishino because it's a small city, like small country and We'll see. We'll see what what's happening in Moldova. <laughs> and I got it like almost for two weeks, which is a lot. Which is a lot. I'll be working there, and I'll be. I hope I will get dentist dentist appointment. Will fix my teeth, and I don't know like what the fuck I'll be doing there. I have no idea what to do there. And I thought like, why the fuck I do it for for the two weeks? Probably because uh, it, the flight was cheaper. And. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that it can be really boring and I don't like it <laughs> for such a long period of time. Anyway, anyway, now I made a decision and I have to just stick to it. And, so, you know, like so important in life uh, to make a decisions and stick to it. So you basically decide to do something, then you do something and then you just stick to it because you will have a lot of regrets or, a lot of, you know, like different thoughts. Uh, that it can be not really good and uh, you know like you have a dialogue with yourself that 
this decision is probably not right or something. And sometimes it can be not right, yeah, but most of the time it can be good. But anyway, you took this decision, you have to stick like it, it, it's what decision is. We have to choose like the blue or the yellow. The white balance doesn't make look it's really yellow. So th th that's the decision. So we, we, we decide what to choose. So we have to choose one. Yeah, and probably one of these choices is better and we can choose the wrong one. But it's still better than, you know, like going without choosing anything. And uh, yeah, I can learn from that because uh, I analyze a bit. I did probably emotional, but at the same time, I want to go to some other country that I never visited. And I want to go somewhere to fix my teeth, not in England. So I did what I want to. And now I visit new country. I hope it, I just, you know, I Google the prices, not, not too expensive. So why not? Why not? Probably the, the food that I'm missing here or the prices for the restaurant, or I don't know, like massage or something, I can just go there. And so we'll see, we'll see. I, I can say something probably we'll see I'll tell you I hope I'll tell you and yeah 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 I don't know like if I will be bringing this camera or my cheaper Nikon one probably it's a good one with this kind of crazy f1.2 Sirui Sirui sniper lens. It's, actually, it's just a cheap but good lens because it's f1.2. And for a video, it's just not a bad quality. I, I can use it even for photos. So, yeah, probably, I don't know. Like, this is content creator camera. The only thing I didn't like about this camera, this beside overheating, which almost every camera had, it's, there is no. Uh, image stabilization. So if I want to do blocks, I can do with this camera. But this, with this one, I need a gimbal because it will be shaky. And taking a gimbal, it's um, a bit too much probably because I'm going a plane with uh, you know like with air, without any luggage as I usually do. I love to travel. Because uh, sometimes I'm thinking about taking a luggage, right? And then I'm just starting to analyze what what, what I would put in that luggage. And uh, I have no fucking idea what to no, have no no clue like what to put. Because everything I have can take, I, I can fit into my pockets, you know? And uh, yeah. So if I fit it into my pockets, why do I need a luggage? I don't know like about the back policy. I need to check the back sizes. So because I probably would like to take my camera some pocket lights, charger, you know, like basic stuff, which usually need, and I need my laptop to work there as well. I wouldn't be taking my keyboard, mouse and shit like that, probably my headphones. I don't know, like if I would take microphones, because without microphone, audio quality will be sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky. I love it so much. So, you know, like this is dead pussy. Oh, like, oh, like the TikTok videos, I can do this stuff, you know. <sighs> by, by the way, just about the TikTok videos, I was in Airbnb on Tenerife and there was a TV so I just turned on the TV and opened YouTube and there was a guy who logged in and didn't log out with his account. And he was the guy that all his videos was about like the girls rubbing this shit on YouTube. I don't know like why people do watch this, like what, what it's about. I know like it's uh, making them horny and they masturbate on it. That's weird for me. But you know, there is a market and there is uh, creators for this market. Someone asking, someone doing. Probably I, I need to come up with some kind of stupid shit and do it. So people would like it and they will, will, will be watching me and my streams. Huh? How about that? 
Yeah, I posted also another video today. Let's see how it goes. It wouldn't be going like viral probably because it doesn't really a great quality. And soon I will get another one for editor. So I'll post another one and see how it goes. I put two blog posts now on my company website, which is really cool and valuable. I'm thinking about third one. It's not an easy task to write blog post even using AI. And also today, uh, yeah, my, one of my like colleagues just told me a good prompt life hack for AI. So basically, it's it's super powerful. It's unreal, man. I'm just telling you. Probably I will make a short video about it. So basically, when you do like AI generated something, for example, blog post, I'm just asking, can you write me a paragraph about blah 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 about uh, you know like how to detect AI text, yeah. And it's write me a paragraph, then I read this paragraph and say, no, this is not right, or change this one, change, you know. So basically what the prompt is, you write the prompt, like write me, for example, a paragraph about AI-generated content, and then you write act as uh, also as uh, editor and check all the facts, because AI is bad with facts in this paragraph, and check all the uh, information and check all that, you know, all that stuff that you need to check and do as many iterations going back and forth that you need. So it's basically uh, your, your writing prompt that way. So AI just like do writer, which is uh, writing text. Then he gives to editor, he checks and then he tell what's need to change. Writers then change it, editors checks again and do it like how many iterations need. And then you write just at the end, just give me the text you know, like that was the final. And you can write down, for example, some meta info like iterations count or something. And it's really powerful because in the end, AI doing like all the iterations. And then it gives you just text that have been edited and checked, you know. So it's basically like uh, you're using one person writing text and he's writing shit in AU and you do editor job. And then you just using like editor and you can use like three persons with AI. So you can be a like, editor, uh, who we have a next, writer, editor, for example, and I don't know, and webmaster, who will say like you need to put, uh, or a, a SEO, opt a SEO, SEO, uh, SEO specialist will be just saying like, you have to optimize this text for keywords or something, you know, and they can just be in back and forth with three people. And at the end, you or if you use paid AI, you pay only with points you spend. But there is a catch with this kind of approach. It works really good with a smart AI model. So like GPT-4, which is paid, or Cloud3, Opus or something, Opus, I guess, which is also paid. Uh, there is a website where you can use this AI models for free. I already mentioned one on my agency videos, which is going, going viral. And there is a way like to get for free, for example, to register and get like few bucks of free credits and stuff like that. Which I probably would like to do. And it's already some minutes. Tomorrow we're gonna shoot some videos outside. I don't know like what the fuck we'll be shooting because my actually friend is working sometimes as operator and we comes and we shoot something and I don't know like what the fuck we'll be shooting. But you know we, we just have to come out and do something, right? Sometimes uh, you have just to start. No, not sometimes, most of the times, basically. There is a problem with, not with, uh, you know, like lacking of information or something. The problem is with starting to do something. When I'm not start doing something, I got uh, procrastinating and things like that. So it's fairly easy, like this video. I just, I don't know like what to say. I don't know like how I'll, how would it look or something, but I just, all right, I'll start and I just improvise, do something, you know. And yeah, it's shitty. I, I know it's shitty, but you know, like my videos probably would get better and better. 
I hope so. I'm not even high. And I don't drink. Can you imagine that? Hey, hey, hey. Now I'll go get into the shower. Shower. And after, get some sleep. Thank you guys for watching this video. You are really super heroes. La -ta 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 -ta. Ha 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 ha.